When elephants fight, the lives of children in conflict in Afghanistan, Bosnia, Sri Lanka, Sudan, and Uganda by Eric Walters and Adrian Bradbury. When elephants fight, it is the grass that suffers. The Kenyan proverb means that when powerful forces go to war, it is invariably the weak and the innocent that suffer the most. This book puts human faces on the suffering caused by five recent or current conflicts around the world. In Uganda, Jimmy, his parents dead, spends his days studying and working his family's small farm and his nights fleeing for safety from, from the Lord's Resistance Army that has terrorized northern Uganda for decades. In Sri Lanka, Anu is caught in the ethnic conflict between the Tamils and the Sinhalese, a war that has raged for 26 years and killed 100,000 people. A backyard bunker and running from gunfire are just part of her daily life. Even well-intentioned international help proves to be disastrous, as religious and ethnic hatreds continue to simmer and explode in violence. Afghanistan Farouk is one of millions of civilians caught in the fighting between tribal warlords, all fighting to control Afghanistan. The fighting is so bad that the family cannot live in their home because of the constant bombing. Even playing in the yard with his cousin is dangerous. Bosnia Naja is caught in Europe's most recent war and genocide. Fueled by ethnic and religious hatred that has simmered for centuries, Snipers are a fact of life, killing men, women, and children just because of their ethnic hate heritage or where they live. Sudan. Toma has lost everything in a conflict far more complex, complex than he could hope to understand. Ethnic, religious, and geopolitical forces have turned the Sudan into the home of never-ending conflict and crippling poverty. Not only will you read about the personal impact these wars have on young people, you will also get the big picture, how history and politics have combined to cause suffering on an almost unimaginable scale. When Elephants Fight puts modern world history in context and shows the impact of war on innocent civilians.